Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. A couple of friends of mine asked me to clean this Land Rover Kingsman that has been out in the deep country on a shoot. And I mean not a video shoot, a real shoot, as in Errol get the shotguns. This car is covered in thick country off-road film. And in this video, we are gonna explore the car and give it a much needed deep clean. Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. If you like nice, clean, shiny, glossy cars, how to keep your cars lovely and what products to use, then hit that subscribe button, guys, because this is the home of all things detailing. In this video, we have our work cut out for us. This is gonna be tough. The Land Rover Defender Kingsman Edition you see here is absolutely plastered and embalmed in thick mud. It stands to reason if the bits you can see are that filthy, the underneath is gonna be even worse. So we need to do a deep undercarriage cleanse as well, guys. I think we gathered now, we got our work cut out on the outside of this vehicle. But we need to take a look now to see if the inside is just as bad. So as you can see by now guys, this vehicle has been out on a live shoot. So the first thing to do is remove any kind of rubbish from the car and take out any live munitions before we start cleaning it. I am loving getting a little glimpse into the lifestyle and world that this Kingsman is catering for. And wait for it. We've been expecting you, Mr. Bond.
If that's not enough for you, you can also store 35 litres of water and make tons of hot coffees and teas. It's even got a fridge or a little mini heater. I just remember, we're not here to marvel at how brilliant this thing is, and it is awesome. We are here to get it clean, and we need to get stuck in. So here you can see the chemicals that we're gonna be using to clean this vehicle. Built Hamber Auto Foam Pre-Wash, around 4% PIR, is gonna be the main weapon of choice here. And Surfex HD will be our main water-based degreaser APC. And finally, Built Hamber Auto Wash Shampoo at around 15 mil to one liter in the snow foam lance. And we'll be using a single rinse bucket with our detailing factory brushes. And in the bucket, we've got about 400 grit guards because one grit guard is never enough. We also have an assortment of brushes, some IPA panel wipe for the glass, the awesome Tax Systems Shiny Wax Detail Spray, some Car Pro Pearl mixed out at one to one here, and also three to one, and this is a rubber, vinyl, you know, tire and leather dressing that is just awesome. And finally, we've got some designer fragrances, air freshener to spruce up the interior smell. I shall be using the Karcher K7 Full Control, which is a beast of a pressure washer, and I've adapted that with the quick release into detailing trigger gun. I'll list all of the equipment that I've used in this video in the description. As with everything in life, guys, picking the right tool for the job is very important. Built Hamber Auto Foam Pre-Wash is one of the most powerful snow foams on the market. It's also extremely cost-effective and cheap. It is biodegradable, non-caustic, primarily surfactant based, and quite simply, guys, it just melts the dirt off your car with zero negative effects. One day, the courage of detailing men will fail. Today is not that day. Let's get this dirt off.
So that is the first round of pre-washing done, guys. And it looks like it's got all the dirt off, but it hasn't. So what we're going to do is we'll put another coat of pre-wash over the top. And then we're going to start on the alloy wheels and leave that pre-wash soaking while we actually clean out the arches and tyres and all that stuff. The cool thing here guys is not only are we cleaning the underside of the vehicle with this Karcher patio washer upside down hack, but we're also feeding Built Hamber Atom Mac, which contains migratory rust inhibitors which transfer into the ferrous components while you're doing this and prevent corrosion. At this point I chose to actually move the vehicle and clear all this mud away before going on to the final contact phase of this wash. One thing to take away from this guys, it's not that important on whether you use one bucket, two buckets or 500 buckets or this wash mitt or that wash mitt or 500 wash mitts. If you use the right pre-wash, when you go in to do the contact wash, there should be minimal dirt on the car. If you follow that rule, it will serve you really, really well in maintaining your finish.
that's it for day one guys i've had four hours on this four hours but when you're filming with three cameras that typically only means two hours but the amount of soiling on this car has slowed me down massively and also while i've been cleaning it i've just been taking the time to have a little poke around it and see it i've never seen anything like this guys i know the guys that run the kingsman company and um this they told me a little bit about the um, car if you want to find out all the information on this i'll stick the kingsman site in there and you can read up on it what these guys do is they they build this car and you can buy them off them or if you are a Land Rover Defender owner, you can give them your Defender and they'll work with you to customise it to this spec. So if you're into outdoor activities, going to the horse races, stuff like that, but in particular shooting, because you can take the roof off this, guys, and shoot from it. And also it's got the, the drawers to sh store your shotgun. And then when you finish at the end of the day, you've got all that kind of luxury stuff going on. You can click the button and out comes like the champagne or the whiskey bottles or whatever. But you've also got the um, hot coffee thing on the side, so you can have hot teas and coffees and fridges and stuff like that. I'll show you some of the footage overlay as I'm going through it. So it's a really cool car as well. Now getting back to cleaning this thing, this is one, This is probably the thickest, muddiest car I've ever cleaned. I've had cleaned a lot worse interiors than this, but the biggest problem here is mud. The mud just kept coming and coming. I had to keep pre-washing and pre-washing and going again, cleaning underneath, because the mud just kept falling off, guys. It got to the point where I nearly gave up, but I said, not today, not here, and not on my watch. And tomorrow, I'm gonna finish this car off and get it absolutely spankingly clean. Ding ding, round two.
that's it guys I have loved this one the main challenge was the amount of mud and the time and doing all three um, cameras to try and capture all of this as you do it the less time you get the less you kind of capture but it's been an absolute joy to kind of get a sneak around this car I'm gonna drive this car back to the owners now it just starting to rain and it's gonna pour down I think the car's gonna get dirty on the way back but that's life isn't it so we've got most of that mud off so that's part of the part of the deal all the products that I've used in this video guys I will stick in the description like I said at the start if you're interested in this Kingsman edition I'll put a link for the company um, where you can find out more about this vehicle also guys do not forget we have my patreon page where you can support the channel if you want access to me you're thinking of machine polishing or getting into detailing you want to ask me direct questions you can join me there and message me. There's all sorts of other tierings and rewards and hopefully stuff there that will be desirable for you. So again, if you go to the description, you can find out more about the Patreon page. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the Forensics Detailing Channel, and I shall see you soon. Bye for now.